Hey friends, welcome to Origins Ishala. In this session, we are going to continue the poke ball design from bottom half. We will be making the hinge joint and button cut. First select the front plane and click on sketch. Right click on front profile main and press show to make the sketch visible. Select this outermost circle and click convert entities. Press on circle command and create a circle of 7.5 mm diameter. Select Smart Dimension and provide a horizontal dimension of 42.5 mm between the origin and center of circle. Select the center of circle and the origin together by keeping the control key pressed. Then give them a horizontal relationship. Click on 3 point arc and create an arc similar to me. Select Line Command and create 3 mm horizontal line from this intersection on circle. Continue with a vertical line downwards. Now drag this point on the line to be coincident on the circumference of the circle. Select the arc and small circle together and make them tangent. Similarly make the arc tangent with the big circle. Select the center of small circle and arc and give them vertical relationship. Create another circle of 3 mm diameter with center at distance of 0.5 mm horizontally to the right of 7.5 mm diameter circle. Make both of these centers have horizontal relationship. Draw a new three-point arc from this point on circle to this horizontal line similar to this. Create a tangent relationship between arc and small circle. Similarly add tangent relationship between arc and the horizontal line. Now, select the end points of the line and arc and make them coincident. Exit the sketch and rename it to hook main profile. Go to front plane and create a new sketch. Select these profiles that I am selecting and click on convert entities. Go to features tab, click on revolved boss slash base. Select this vertical line as the axis of revolution, direction 1 to mid plane with 30 degree angle of revolution. Make sure to keep the merge result option ticked, then select these contours and click OK. Create another new sketch on the front profile. Select the center rectangle option and create a rectangle with same center as the 7.5 mm diameter circle. Add vertical dimension as 15 mm. Make the right vertical edge tangent to the circle. Go to Features tab, select Extruded Cut. For Direction 1, select Mid Plane, enter 10 mm as the value, select the profile and click OK. Create a new sketch on Front Plane. This time around, select the smallest circle and click on Convert Entities. Go to Features tab, Click on Extruded Boss slash Base, select up to Next for Direction 1 and 2 and then click OK. Now we can hide the rest of the profiles for now. Click on Right Plane and create a sketch. Draw a circle of 30 mm diameter at origin. Click on Offset Entities, enter 3 mm as value, click on Reverse and then press OK. Select the smaller circle and again choose Offset Entities. Enter 5 mm value, click on Reverse and press OK. Now, exit the sketch and rename it as Button Main Profiles. Click on Right Plane and create a new sketch. Select the biggest circle and click on Convert Entities. Go to Features tab and select Extruded Cut. For From, select Offset and enter 50 mm as offset distance. For Direction 1 select up to Surface. Make the surface revolve 1 visible from Model Tree drop down at the side and select it as the required surface and click OK.
Now, you can hide the surface revolve again. Click on Fillet command in the Features tab, enter 0.25mm as the dimension, select these edges and faces and click OK. With this our bottom half of the poke ball is complete and we should save it now. And that's it for this session. Next time, we will be making the upper half of the poke ball with some modifications to make it as close to the one in show as possible while also keeping it practical to make. Till then keep learning and be the best. The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see